We all know how dangerous climbing Mount Everest can be. Historically, over 300 people died attempting to reach the summit. In 2019 alone, it claimed the lives of 11 people. Yet, despite the risk, its sheer magnitude and beauty inspires around 800 climbers a year to flock to the mountain. But what if we stepped it up a notch and made Everest even more dangerous? Imagine this peaceful giant was an angry volcano waiting to burst. How's that for an adrenaline rush? What would happen if Everest erupted? How would it affect the rest of the world? Could we prevent it and others like it? This is What If. And here's what would happen if Mount Everest was an active volcano. There are 1,500 active volcanoes around the world, and many of them found deep in the ocean. Yet there are only 20 supervolcanoes on Earth. If Everest was one of them and happened to be sitting on a giant pool of magma ready to explode, we'd be in serious trouble. To put this into perspective, the largest eruption on record, Mount Tambora, happened in 1815 on the Indonesian island of Samboa. At only half the size of Mount Everest, it was once a 4,000 meter tall stratovolcano which melted down to an 11,109 meter deep caldera. This classifies it as a supervolcano, as it initially erupted over 1,000 cubic meters of material around 43,000 years ago. On the Volcanic Explosivity Index, the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora earned the highest ranking ever recorded, with the VEI-7 classification. The most catastrophic eruptions, ranking at a VEI-8, happened thousands and millions of years ago. The explosion of Mount Tambora sent volcanic ash kilometers up into the sky, destroying crops and burying entire villages. It triggered earthquakes and possibly large tsunamis. The release of ash and aerosols in the stratosphere blocked the sun, causing nearby temperatures to drop. This made food and oxygen scarce, killing over 100,000 people. Yikes. So if Everest happened to be a volcano ready to burst, what would happen? Despite Everest being a whopping 8,849 meters tall, in the world of volcanoes and relationships, size doesn't always matter. It's what's inside that counts. Deep below a volcano, beneath the Earth's mantle, is a magma chamber waiting to blow skyward. It's hard to say how big Everest's magma chamber might be, but it would have to be pretty large to send magma high enough to reach the surface. If you happened to summit Everest on this fateful day, you'd be vaporized in seconds. Giant chunks of burning rock, also known as volcanic bombs, would be flung outward, crushing villages and smothering them with ash. A flaming hot avalanche would decimate everything in its path. All five countries circling Everest including Nepal, India, Pakistan, Bhutan, and the People's Republic of China, would be absolutely devastated. Many earthquakes would trigger along the Indo-Australian and Eurasian fault lines. Essentially, this would be very bad news for everyone. But it gets worse. To add insult to injury, the release of ash into the stratosphere would block the sun, triggering a volcanic winter that could last for several years. This would destroy crops, and the United Nations estimates Earth would run out of food in just over two months. If there were any survivors, they would probably be deep in a bomb shelter somewhere, hoarding a lifetime supply of food and toilet paper. There is some light at the end of this tunnel, though. After about a hundred years, all these gases would actually start to warm the climate again. But that's a long wait for a volcanic summer. If anybody actually survived this, 
Climbing Everest would be a whole new experience and probably a lot easier to accomplish as a much smaller and hollowed out caldera. You could finally check that off your bucket list. But let's rewind. What if we knew Everest was going to explode? What could we do? As it turns out, scientists at NASA have an almost $4 billion solution. It would involve drilling a series of wells around the perimeter of the volcano to send ice-cold water down to the magma chamber. This in turn would form a protective ring of cool rock to help prevent a cataclysmic burst. As the water heats up, NASA would extract it at the surface for electric power generation. Talk about a win-win! Mind you, if they happen to drill in a sensitive area, there is a chance they could actually trigger an eruption, which would be the biggest base palm in the history of humanity. Just to put you at ease, Everest is not a volcano and will never erupt. Sherpas and climbers will stay in business for a long time. Yet there are a number of supervolcanoes on Earth building pressure. These eruptions are extremely rare as pressure building isn't always what triggers a volcanic event. Unlike earthquakes, volcanoes are much harder to predict. With that said, Yellowstone, America's supervolcano, is supposedly overdue. But that's a story for another What If. <laughs>